Hi everyone. If you follow our channel, you know that we recently finished a remodel on our 6x10 cargo trailer. Uh, we've been on the road for about two months now. We've had a few issues come up that required some repairs and uh, adjustments. So I wanted to cover those with you today in hopes that it would help you during your cargo trailer conversion. So we've had this cargo trailer for about two and a half years. We've had three remodels, this third one being the one that we're going to stick with because we absolutely love it. It's held up extremely well for us. Uh, the design uh, for this that we're in now, uh, we did have a video for it and I'll put a link right up here for it if you wanna see it. But during the course of our trip, we found that we had uh, I hadn't quite done a few things that should have been taken care of during the construction or during the remodel. And so I'm hoping that I can provide some information for you as far as what I did wrong. Uh, so maybe during your cargo trailer conversion build, you'll be able to be aware of those things and it will help you during the course of your build. So we have a 5,000 BTU portable air conditioner. The air conditioner isn't actually installed in the cargo trailer, it's on wheels, so I can take it in and out. When we're traveling, I have it bungee corded in so it doesn't move and that works fine. But as far as the exhaust for the air conditioner to take the hot air out of the cargo trailer and send it out, I did put a hole in the floor that we connect the single hose to and it uh, takes all the heat out of the uh, cargo trailer. That works very well. However, whenever I put in the plastic bracket, I didn't seal it. I simply screwed the bracket into the floor. We found out that was a problem the first time we drove down a uh, dusty road in Nebraska. We were going out to Toadstool. It's a, it's a long drive to get out there. And whenever we opened up the trailer, once we got there, it was covered in, everything inside was covered in dust. So it took quite a bit of uh, cleaning to take care of. But what I did was I removed the bracket. I siliconed the bottom of it. I put it back in place and screwed it back into place. That has virtually eliminated the issue. So whenever you're putting in any type of hole, into your cargo trailer. Make sure that you have it sealed on the outside and on the inside to eliminate the potential for dust, uh, bugs, anything like that to be able to get in through any opening. And with regard to our single hose, whenever I'm connecting it for us to use it, whenever it clicks into place, there's still a little gap uh, around, even after I have the, uh, the hose screwed in to the bracket. So I just use some painter's tape uh, and I, uh, put the painter's tape all the way around it. Painter's tape is easy to remove and so whenever it's time for us to move on to our next spot I just peel that uh, painter's tape off, unscrew the bracket, and we, we just head on from there. But the painter's tape allows me to have a good seal so I don't have any air coming out uh, inside the cargo trailer which would eliminate the efficiency of the air conditioner. Another issue related to the dust coming into the uh, cargo trailer was that um, on that same trip out to Toadstool, we had quite a bit of dust coming in the back doors as well from underneath. We haven't had that issue before uh, when we were out here um, two years ago in the driving. We did quite a bit of driving in, in dust too. We didn't have that issue. So I'm assuming that over time, and this is probably the case, uh, the seals on the doors will shrink, start to have some wear. And so whenever, we're, you're, whenever I'm shutting the doors on the back, uh, it's not a good seal. So what I did was I got some uh, weather stripping, put it underneath the door whenever they close to make a good seal. Because if you notice, there's a difference of probably about an eighth, probably about an eighth of an inch uh, from the sides. So there's a little bit of a gap there. So what I did was just use some weather stripping, put it all the way across, and that has worked well. Since I've had that in place, and we've been down dusty roads, we haven't had any more of an issue. One thing to keep in mind, whenever I put the weather stripping in place initially on the metal, it didn't stick very well. So I just got some duct tape that I already had and make sure you have duct tape whenever you're traveling with cargo trailer because you're gonna need it. Uh, I put some duct tape all the way across and then I put the weather stripping on top of that. And that allowed it to have a good seal to the cargo trailer. And like I said, we haven't had any issues since then. The next issue, is with regard to our storage, our cabinet that is under the bed. Um, whenever we left, 
for whatever reason I didn't think about it but as you're driving down the road and you put on your brakes um, doors uh, drawers can slide out so you want to make sure that with any kind of cabinets or drawers in your cargo trailer that you have a way to lock them in place while they're while you're driving so with drawers you can have some clips that keep them in place you can lo have locks get some hasp blocks that type of thing to put those in place I didn't necessarily want to do that because I didn't want to mess up the front of uh, the, the drawers or deface them in any way so what I did was I screwed on a small hook just below the drawers into the floor and then a hook above the drawers uh, right underneath the bed that way I can put a bungee cord into place whenever we're leaving you barely see the hooks you don't see the hook that's underneath the bed uh, but the bungee cord allows the drawers to slightly open but they immediately close back but by putting a, this bungee cord in place it allows the drawers to slightly open but close right back and I'm not uh, defacing them at all so it aesthetically it keeps them exactly the way they were when they were installed and just before we went on our trip I had cut a piece of reflectix to fit into our window to help make it dark in here even during the day we really haven't needed it uh, however whenever we did get to the desert more or less we realized that it was getting extremely hot in here in the day while we weren't here and even though the cargo trailer is very well insulated it was still getting uh, pretty hot the air conditioner does allow it to get cooled pretty quickly but I've used uh, we keep that reflectix in the window now all the time um, because the window is on the west side of the cargo trailer the way we're currently set up and so that helps keep the temperatures uh, lower in the carbon trailer because it reflects all that light right back out again it's a very easy thing to do a whole roll of reflectix is like 40 bucks the reflectix has really helped to keep the, uh, the cargo trailer dark whenever we've needed it to during the day um, so if if that is an issue for you reflectix is an easy solution to do that well that's gonna wrap it up for this video like I said initially I just wanted to provide some information on some mistakes that I made during the remodel and during the construction of our cargo trailer and in hopes that would help you during your process to minimize the chances of those things happening uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you soon on our next adventure